Alright and welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I have a special video for you guys because we are talking about Scrap Beak and Scrap Beak is the new boss in Hunt Showdown. We finally unlocked him. So this video will be a mix of boss introduction slash boss guide video. This will also be my first guide video for bosses so let's see how this goes. We're gonna talk about following topics today. So first of all, what are his unique features? Then what are his abilities? And at the end, how to combat Scrap Beak. Let's go! So what makes Scrap Beak so unique? Okay, let's talk about a mechanic that is absolutely new to Hunt Showdown. We've never seen it before. And that's what makes Scrap Beak so unique. I mean, there are multiple things, but let's start with this feature here right now. I personally call it the Hoarder. So, what does it do? The area around the boss layer has no supplies. Nothing. Nada. Niente. And the radius for that is 100 meters around the boss layer. Health stations, ammo boxes, weapons, trades, absolutely nothing can be found there. You will need a different approach to prepare for Scrap Beak. You either bring everything from the store or you bring it from, you know, other compounds or supply points a little bit further away. This will be definitely a change because I know that a lot of people out there, including myself, they like to use a stamina shot, then pick up just a world combat axe and whack the bosses until they're dead. That will be now a little bit more difficult, not just because of the Horder ability slash feature. There are more things that make this a little bit more difficult, but we will talk about it now about a bit. However, you will be like, man, why do we even kill the boss? It will be super hard to defend the boss. He drops loot, not just a token. Let's talk a little bit about his abilities. To prepare you guys against him, let's talk about his abilities. Okay, there are four abilities I want to talk about. Let's start with the first one, and that is his backpack. The backpack is guarding him. That means attacks from the back are reduced by 50%. Piercing weapons are an exception. Bayonets, pitchforks, and saber are highly effective. As long as you're using the piercing attack, for example, the saber the thrust attack is piercing, the slash is not the light attack. That means that solos potentially won't kill him slower than teams. Because he's always chasing somebody, so your teammate is most likely, depends on the positioning, behind him, dealing less damage. The backpack gets smaller each time he drops items. We're gonna talk about that on the next slide. Be careful. Every time the backpack gets smaller, he gains a permanent movement speed buff. Scrap Beak will be pretty fast at the end of your boss kill. This is really awesome in my opinion, because you have now finally a boss where there is a visual progression compared to the spider, the butcher or the assassin. They always look the same. 25%, 50%, 75%, always the same. Now, we talked a little bit regarding the item dropping, and that's his next ability. Every time he enrages, he drops items. Bosses normally enrage around 25%. We're gonna talk about that in a bit. I know I'm repeating myself, so just be patient. He drops three random items and his weapon. You need to be super careful though, because fire and explosions will deny the loot because you're destroying the stuff that he's dropping. It means if you completely kill him with fire, he drops zero items in total. If you do it properly, he drops 12 random items. Like for example, an ammo box or medkits. He also can drop traits. You absolutely have to be careful how you do this. So, depending on how and also how fast you kill him because Boss killer weapons now have drawbacks. If you use the Nitro, which takes a huge chunk of life from all bosses, or the Sticky Bomb, which works just as well as against the Butcher, for example, you will skip these item drops. And that means you will get less, because the Horder ability or feature denies any loot around him. So be careful here. Then, we talked already about the Enrage, and this is his Frenzy mode. Roughly every 25%. Uh, 
a boss goes into frenzy mode, all of them. His frenzy mode is mainly passive. You have the ear ringing effect, so you, well, he kind of mimics a bird, he screams, and you have this ear ringing effect. It's like from Rapid Fire, when you play a, with a chain pistol and fanning and you go full ham, it sounds similar. Be careful though. I mean, in general, you should not attack the boss while they are in frenzy mode because they take less damage. But this one, Scrap Beak, damaging the new boss while in frenzy will cause him to drop a small Constantina bomb. Now, <laughs> let's summarize what we know so far. He gets a speed buff. And the moment you hit him during the end rage, he drops a Constantina bomb. A small one. <laughs> Which will entangle you. Why he is super fast. Yeah, you can already see where this is going. This will also make killing him with melee weapons, like for example with a combat axe, pretty tough. Because suddenly you're standing in the barbed wire and you cannot dance around the bosses anymore. And, since we're already talking about the Concertina bomb, he also has a Concertina toss. He throws a Concertina at you, if he can't reach you. It's similar to the Butcher. He tries to get over to you, and if he can't, he starts tossing the fireballs at you. The size of the wire is roughly the same of a Concertina trip mine, and you can actually see a unique design for the scrap league wire. So yeah, those are his abilities. It's getting pretty spiky in his boss room if you're not careful. You can also troll a little bit people if you're outside, for example, with Spitzer rounds and you see Scrap Beak is enraged, for example, at Scupper Lake, everything's wood, right? And you can see through the cracks. He enrages, you start shooting the boss from outside. He drops little concertina bombs. Um, yeah, <laughs> so this will be fun. Okay, we talked about the abilities. Now, how do we kill him? Let me give you some tips how to kill Scrap Beak. Okay, honestly, you don't need any magical tactics to kill him. It's still straightforward. So regular boss killer tactics work just fine. He's not immune to nitro bullets. He's not immune to the sticky bomb. He's not immune to the bomb plants. Poison clouds, for example, still work. Just keep in mind, maybe they will tweak Scrap Beak again the next couple days or weeks. So always check the pinned comment regarding an update. One thing that will most likely get you killed, I'm not saying it's impossible, melee stamina dance is very hard to pull off. Like for example the Butcher, you take a stamina shot, you take the combat axe, you just dance around him and slap him until he dies. Normally you can pull it off. Against Scrap Beak, I do not recommend it. I'm not saying it's impossible, I just don't recommend it. Shotguns are very effective, for example the Penny Shot ammo or Slugs. Just be careful when you like fire ammo. The incendiary rounds will set him on fire, and if you do it at the wrong time, or if he enrages while being on fire, the loot is gone. And that will hurt you. He has a weak point, and that is the head. And the backpack reduces the damage significantly. We talked already about this. So, this is how you kill him. I will also show a little bit of clips now, and have a little bit of commentary over it. Enjoy! Here we go with some clips that I collected during the external playtesting for Crytek. I mention this because you might see a few different icons or models once this hits live and I don't want to confuse you. Long ammo deals normal damage against him. While he has the big backpack, kiting him is not a big issue. The moment Scrap Pig realizes that he can't reach you, he starts to drop a bit of concertina wire. Here you can see that he enters frenzy mode at 25% health lost and drops his first set of items. To get rid of the wire safely, you can lure Scrap Beak into his own traps. You can also lure him to specific locations that you want to seal off. For example, you can trigger his frenzy mode the moment he is in front of a boss layer entry. Keep shooting him so he drops more wire. That way you can use his concertina wire to protect you from people rushing you. The next frenzy, I just kite him and wait until he turns normal again. You can also see that I start to feel the increased run speed and that I can take less shots while kiting him.
I finish him with the bayonet and loot his items to resupply and prepare myself to defend the bomb. Next clip. I also tested some poison clouds. They were okay. So a hand crossbow with poison bolts will work. Take a small antidote shot, create two to three clouds with the poison bolts and just kite them through them. The poison bomb was just okay and it takes quite long. Penny shot absolutely destroys me. But Penny Shot shreds all AI quite reliably, so that doesn't say much. I would not be surprised to see a damage nerf for Penny Shot one day, at least against bosses. Save the shells and don't shoot him while he is in frenzy mode. I'm actually shooting him at the end, during the frenzy mode, to show how he spawns some concertina wire, before he bites the dust. Regular shotgun ammo and slugs work pretty well too. I will probably not be able to show everything in this video, but I absolutely want to show how the different melee damage types perform. Blunt damage with a world set hammer, for example, is not recommended, to put it nicely, especially while he is in frenzy mode. That right there was actually pretty close with his end rate. <coughs> in this clip, you can also hear pretty well how the ear ringing effect is making me almost deaf. So try not to be too close the moment his enrage triggers. Now look at the performance of the Saber. Way better. Even when I attack through the backpack. I tried also some concertina bombing, honestly skip that. The detonation of the concertina bomb does a bit of damage, but he just ignores the wire and clears all of it by walking through. The moment I go back down the ramp, you will see that. However, a sticky bomb works pretty well. It takes 75% as usual. Just be careful, you will skip one to three item drops from him should you use it. The explosion will destroy the loot. Sometimes it's worth it should you absolutely need a very fast banish. I already talked about it a bit, but the good old stamina shot into melee weapon abuse is a bit different with Scrap Beak. You can dance around the Butcher and dodge some swings while he is enraged. You can stunlock the Assassin with melee weapons for most of the time. Scrap Beak with his damage absorbing backpack and the Concertina bombs during his enrage is making this a bit tougher. Be careful with the frenzies and it is still doable with some practice. And it still might be a good way to do it since you save some of your supplies. Sometimes you will get snared by some wire that you missed and it's getting spicy. During the external playtesting even some veterans got smacked while trying it. Not gonna give you any names though, sorry guys. Let's have a look at the rest of this fight so you can see a bit how I'm doing it.
What I love about Scrapbeak is that he's not immune against anything. You have to be careful with a few mechanics, but you will not cry in front of the boss. As for example, when you have a full incendiary loadout against the Butcher, or a full poison ammo loadout against the Spider. Fire is doing well against him, you just need to time it a bit with the Frenzy effect. Here's a nice example with a poison and fire combo. That's it for the video, there are definitely more ways to kill him efficiently and there are definitely more tips and tricks regarding how to defeat this new boss. But first of all, I don't want this video to be any longer and I think it's always nice to find your own ways of killing the boss. So go out there, hunt Scrap Beak and get creative. Let me know in the comment section how you guys like to kill him. I hope you enjoyed my first boss guide video. I was always wondering how useful such a video would be. So I really hope it will help some people out there. Maybe I do some videos for the other bosses. We will see. Thank you a lot, as always, to my patrons. The support is amazing. Thank you for watching. I hope you will have lots of fun with the new boss. I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.